How's it going everybody and welcome back. So today's video we're going to be doing a Slimming World video. Uh, not done one in a little while and also I am trying to lose a little bit of weight, getting married soon and I do not fit in my suit for the life of me. Um, so I'm making an Eggs Benedict which um, is something I've always wanted to try but have never actually given it a go. Um, it looks nice from the picture, wait a minute, let's see what can... Okay, so that's the picture of it in the book. It's going to look nothing like that by the time I'm done. Um, but I've actually never poached an egg before. So, um, yeah. The um, ingredients on here is for four servings. I'm only doing it for one, so obviously I'll be quartering things. But I will tell you how much you would be putting in if you were to make it for four. So, let's get straight into it. Okay, so first things first, I've got some water here that I'm just going to uh, bring up to a, a very heavy simmer. Uh, that's going to be for the egg. Now in here, I need to add some fry light, which has gone walkies, so we all got it. So in here, some fry light. And now this would be 300 grams of baby spinach. Now I have just looked at it, 75 grams, closely quartered, and it seems like such a lot. So I'm going with just a nice handful, because this is just to go on one roll. So I'm going to stick a my handful of spinach in there, and then with that, a smidgen of chopped garlic. Now, for the actual recipe, it says one clove. So I'm using the already chopped stuff because I'm lazy. But I'm going to go with just the edge of the spoon. So I'm just going to try and get that so it's actually all on the surface. There we go. And we're cooking that until the spinach has wilted. So we can come back to that in a minute. It's only now I realise why it tells you to use so much, and I do not know better than recipes is because the spinach hella shrinks, so I am just going to chuck a little bit more into here. Okay, so here we've got a half, well the bottom half of a, of a wholemeal roll, um, which is what I have toasted. Now get some nice lean ham and add that to the uh, bottom part, so that goes on first. Now on top of that goes the very very wilted spinach mix which i can understand now why it tells you to use so much but we're just going to go with that that looks okay <laughs> to me right, i'm going to use this pan again all right so now we're going to start on the poached egg so i have absolutely let myself down i cracked the yolk it was my last egg as well so i can't even do, have any do-overs so in with your egg can you see it there now you can't you want a splash of vinegar. So that's supposed to help the white hold together. It can do nothing for the yolk now, that is lost. So as you can see, we've got a heavy simmer going. I do not want it to go boiling though. So now it, we've got to cut We've got to create like a whirlpool effect. Like so. And then we put the egg in. <laughs> and that whirlpool is supposed <laughs> to keep the yolk together but I don't know how that's going to go anyways that's three to four minutes and that gives us plenty of time just to whip up the uh, the sauce that's going on top now for the sauce which we're going to do in this pan um so da -da -da -da, that is sorry the fromage fray so yeah fromage fray um mustard chopped herbs which we should be using for eight tablespoons of this obviously uh, i'm only going to use two uh, then it's a tablespoon of tarragon a tablespoon of the parsley and then the mustard is a quarter teaspoon so obviously i'm only going to use a little bit of that so uh, you want to make sure you're whisking at all time now i'm worried that this pan is going to be a bit too hot and he's turn his egg down because that looks like it's uh, getting a bit excited wow, wow. oh wow Sorry, that's my uh, my son. So, two tablespoons. Right, we're gonna come back to that. <laughs> right, let's try that again now that we've cooled the pan down and cleaned it out. So, two tablespoons of this. It's a good job I always buy too much. There we go. Look at how it's not burning as soon as it hits the pan. Two tablespoons of your fromage fray. Now for the tarragon, it's gonna be about a quarter tablespoon. The parsley is also going to be roughly a quarter tablespoon. And then for the mustard, uh, which should normally be a quarter teaspoon, obviously we're just going to put 
a little dabble in there. So now we're going to get that heating up and constantly whisk it together. So obviously as we've got the heat coming on, I am just going to carry on whisking it. We are also going to be transferring the egg across now. So let's just move you over here a minute. So the egg has been somewhat of a disaster because that looks mainly like the white. But yeah, oh no, 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 there, there, she, there she is. So we do have the yolk there. Well, what we held together of it. Obviously I am gutted that I cracked it because I think that would have turned out somewhat half decent. Oh well, so we're gonna plump that on. What I am most gutted about is I, I'm not gonna get a runny yolk out of that. But for, it was my first ever attempt. Maybe I shouldn't have saved my first poached egg for when I make a video. But we all make mistakes. So, so far, this is where we're at. We're meant to be constantly whisking this. So I've already forgotten to do that, but we're getting there, we're getting there, everybody. Right, so, time to add some of this sauce on. Obviously it's a bit yellowy in tint, that's purely because of the mustard. This was my third attempt at the uh, the sauce as well. I managed to mess it up twice. But here we go. Third time is lucky, they say. But even though with like a few mistakes and things like that, it's not taken all that long. It's quite, well, I'm not gonna say it's hassle free, but I don't know, there's something to it, I guess. It's a cool stuff, let me come down. So I was really hoping for like a really nice cool, like pop the yolk kind of thing. That's not gonna happen now, but I don't know, it looks, I mean, it smells nice enough. Obviously when it comes to tasting it now, I'm gonna try and get a little bit of everything. We want the egg, we want the spinach, we want that sauce, which I still think looks a little bit suspicious, but that's probably, that might be on my, that might be on me. Right, so here we go. So. My first ever attempt at Eggs Benedict. I'm not normally this nervous when it comes to trying something, but. Okay. No, that's good. <laughs> I'm happy. Mmm. So although I messed the egg up, it has poached nicely, the yolk in it's really good, I mean it's quite a fresh egg as you're meant to use for poached eggs. Um, the spinach is nice, the, the amount of garlic in it was perfect, I do love garlic. And then again with that sauce, it's really basic because it's just from our tree which doesn't have a great deal of flavour but uh, obviously with the herbs and especially the mustard in it is, a, is an absolute must, um, uh, an absolute mustard. But I'm <laughs> sorry that was cringe but, but yeah. It tastes actually really nice and I'm really happy about it. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Obviously if you did, leave it a little like, drop me a comment, let me know what you think. It, even though it's a disaster, it was quite tasty. Now of course, if you're not already, make sure you subscribe and hopefully see you next time. Thank you so much everybody for watching. Bye bye.